Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. In my last video, we looked at the month of July, the metal gold month from a flying stars perspective. So feng shui, uh, what are the energies present in our home and office? How can we make use of them? And now we're also looking into the July month from an eating perspective. So what sort of energies in general can we expect to uh, have to deal with? on a global uh, scale, but then also how do we adjust to it on a personal level? So the month of July, 2024 is associated with the hexagram number six. And the hexagram itself is called uh, conflict or entitlement, depending on what sort of um, aging cards you use, it has a different name, but uh, generally speaking, um, the name itself indicates that something is not in alignment, yeah? So what we have to be careful with in July is that um, we align everything that we're doing. We consolidate things because if we don't do that, then in July, a lot of conflict is going to happen. So this also means that you need to make sure that people trust you in July. You can't do that by... Um, you know, telling white lies. You can't do that, but by being vague about certain things. So if you have a, a, a conversation with a client or with your friend or a family member or a business partner, be open, express yourself openly. Otherwise people will not trust you. And the moment people don't trust each other, that's when conflict happens. So um, this is very, very important in July. Now, conflict also means that you may have an internal conflict that's happening inside of you, um, maybe because you can't express yourself fully to those who are really important um, to you, or, or maybe you are just not able to express your feelings, your emotions, even to yourself, or admit them to yourself. And when that happens, then an inner conflict is being created, and that can lead to, in the worst case, to a depression, but just generally um, to feelings of sadness or anger or, um, you know, just feelings where you're not, um, that you're not really in sync with, with what's going on. So you have to monitor your internal dialogue as well as your external dialogue in July. Make sure that you try to express yourself as much as possible. I know it's not always possible. We can't always tell our boss how we feel about them. But just try to be as honest as possible with yourself and with those around you. Um, now, this often also means that it would be good to seek advice from professionals outside. Yeah, so maybe professionals who have expertise in the business that you're in, outside consult consultants, for example, um, people who have expertise in, let's say, management, finances, relationships. Yeah, it's a good month to seek a coach if you're feeling that something is off in your life and you just need some um, expert advice, some advice from someone who is not emotionally attached to the situation, then go out and seek a mentor, a teacher, a coach, a consultant. Yeah, it's an excellent month to do that. Um, because then at least you are able to express to someone what is going on and get advice over what it is that you could do to resolve the situation so that it doesn't end in a conflict. Yeah. Now, the conflict hexagram also tells us that we um, need to be aware of sort of like the secrets that we keep, whether we do keep them for good reasons or bad reasons, because it's important that you need, to, that you work things out um, so that you don't actually have to keep the secret anymore. Yeah, usually we keep secrets because we're uncomfortable <laughs> with the truth. Now, um, if you don't work this out with whoever is involved in the secret that you're keeping, there's a high likelihood or a high chance that things are being revealed in July. We will likely also see this in media in July. Suddenly things are actually coming to the surface. Maybe there's more scandals reported in the newspapers or, or in the news in general. So um, a lot of dirty laundry um, will be aired for people to see. Yeah. So make sure that you don't have any dirty laundry that needs to be aired out. Um, so you don't have to be embarrassed by whatever is actually being revealed. Yeah. This is also sort of like a word of caution. Um, sometimes we just keep really, really stupid secrets. Yeah. That are not even all that necessary. 
um, try to come to an agreement with the people involved, or just even if it's just yourself, um, ask yourself why you are so embarrassed by this particular secret. Um, if it does come out, be open about it. Yeah. Don't try to, don't try to obfuscate it even more because that will make things worse. Right. So this is sort of like the energy of July. I know it doesn't sound all that positive, but uh, speak your truth. That's essentially the message here. Um, be sure to be as open as possible over what is moving you inside, what, uh, what you're feeling, what you're thinking. Um, obviously be diplomatic, yeah? You don't just have to blurt out everything. Um, try to express yourself in the most diplomatic way possible, but get things out, get things off your chest and July will actually be a good month for you, all right? I hope this helped you guys. I hope this together with the flying stars is helping you have a really, really good month of July this year. If you do have any questions, any comments, please put them in the comment section below. And of course, you can always contact me directly if you would like to have a personal reading with me. My email address is in the description to the video. And uh, in the meantime, please have a lovely, lovely summer. For those of you who take on some, take some time off for holiday, enjoy your holiday, enjoy your vacation, recharge, rejuvenate, make sure that you have a fantastic time. And um, yes, if you could share out this video, that would be fantastic. And please give it a big thumbs up. See you guys soon. Take care.